All right, this is all around. Then you got. I'll just throw this. Get more auto attacks. Meteor down. So it's like he has a crazy kit. There's a lot to unpack here. So let's you know start simple. Let's go with the uh, passive, which is touch of fate. Which after you reach 150 magical power, you start getting crit chance. You know, of course, since you're in mage, a mage hunter or scaling, they decided to give him crit chance instead of you know making different auto um, augmented autos, which is smart. So let's say I have 400, 400 magical power means I have 40% critical chance because you get 1% after every 10 magical power you get more from items. Your crits do 50% more damage, and you can tell there's a crit when it comes up with a symbol. Nice, there you go. And you additionally get 5% uh, scaling on your autos. Normally, you scale with 20%, but he gets 25 right here. The scaling. Your cap will be 70%. Nothing too big there. Definitely something that's good. When it comes to passive, a good item to start to go with is uh, Bancrofts. Because as you know, you lower your health, you will get more crit chance. So definitely something you could do. Besides that, the first ability is basically Janus ult, but no CC immunity. You press one, and you start charging. It's insect cast. So you, the more you charge it, the more, the longer the range, and the range is actually longer once you use its ult. The ult makes it kind of like Thoth. Yeah, so it's combining Janus ult with Thoth, Thoth's 3. It's kind of a lot of glorified things as you will probably see. So of course it will clash, it will stop the first enemy god, but it will go to the wave. So it's pretty, basically your first wave clear and your only really uh, best wave clear. Besides that, you can throw it right, right away. Uh, it does the same damage. It doesn't matter how, if you charge it, so you can just instantly do it. Let's see how long it takes. It takes a bit of a charge time. Besides the second ability, which is a stem, of course, if you're a mage hunter, you need attack speed. You gain attack speed. Simple as that. But as you can see, my passive and what's on top of me is that also charging itself. Once it's charged, you can use that ability to oh, wait, use that ability. To summon a meteor sun which as you can see is a lot of damage right there almost a thousand it's very nice so the reason why i wasn't able to proc it the first time is because i can actually save that power as you can see my passive is still fill it, filling up but you can only uh fill it up to 60 percent you can let's say fill it up right away so unless you want to you know you just want to throw it right away but you can save it if you don't fe feel like it's the right opportunity to use it so, but you cannot cast it unless you are in the time frame within the ability. So if the ability goes out of the time frame, you have to activate it again to act, to shoot it. So let's activate it again. I get the stem, and I can charge it beyond the sixty percent to a ten percent. And you can see the attack speed buff wears out, but I still have three seconds to throw it. So we just throw it in there, and it does the damage. It does ten percent less damage per per damage to a maximum. You see at the end of forty seven was the amount that you know it left out left off in so it's good to know it's definitely a good follow-up ability you just use this to poke and use this kind of like your Scylla crush where they're all in one ability well that's pretty good anything else i missed besides that nope it lasts longer the stem but it's a base stem so maxing the one's definitely better because it doesn't really matter the two seconds or the damage on the two you can max that later but the third ability, it's basically Afro, Afro Seal with her knock, knock, knockback. <laughs> As you can see, this is definitely like, uh, the other abilities on steroids. So it's a knock, knockback, knock up actually, and it slows targets, just like back up, and it heals you for a certain amount. There you go. Knocks him up, and it heals me per, per tick. If I would take damage, you would see it. But it's basically a heal just like Afro. It's no big deal there. Besides that, however, it does also, if you use it next to a ally, I find allies. Let's reset my, just change the team right here. And you have no movement ability, so it's a very slow mage, but of course you compensate with the damage. As you can see in my thief, 
fans. What is that black line right here? What is this? I just noticed that. Interesting. Well, you can't see my defense right now. But if you hit, heal an enemy with this, although in Spence, within them, nearby enemies, it's slowed. Allies bath in the light, heal over time as well. Just with the same tick. And you gain physical and magical defense. It's only 16 per ally, which is nice. It gives him, you know, about 10%, 5% mitigations, which is pretty good uh, when you're getting dove. That's his defense, uh, uh, defensive move. But it's pretty good when it comes to the knockup. Now, all of, most of the, all of these abilities are augmented when you ult. Because the ult is called Sanctified Field. The giant field, kind of like Outwatch ult. Oh, I want to see the interaction between Outwatch ult and this ult, really. That would be nice. Also, everything will be probably be slower. Oh, and you'll see you'll see the reason why I have a uh, mystical mail in just a second. Hold up, hold the phone. Okay, one, one, very good. So once you sanctify area, this whole area slows the enemy movements down, and it enhances yours. Let me change the team back again real quick to show you. The it's on a hundred and twenty second cooldown at level one, so. It's definitely something that you have to use carefully. So as you see, there's Odin moving around. I will go ahead and ult. And he'll be slower. And, and I can use my abilities faster. As you can see. And the meteors shoot faster as well. Meteors expand faster. The only real combo that you can do is use the 3 for the knockup. Because their knockup takes a bit longer once they're in the ult. But let me show you the uh, 1. Oops. Let me show you the one with the en enhanced range. So as you can see, that's a lot longer. There you go. And as you can see, the knockup look how long it lasts. I don't. It feels like it lasts five seconds, but it's just it's a bit slow. But it gives you enough time to do the combo, which is the following. Now let me charge this. Of course, you would charge this appropriately. You should at least. So we'll charge this real quick. Max is sixty percent, almost full. Or maybe I can charge it faster. Let's see. Maybe it's just me. Give me more. Give myself more attack speed here. Ah, such dazzling brilliance. Okay. Let's charge it to full real quick. Use it. The cooldown on the two, by the way, it's used immediately after you use it. So if I use it, for example, start charging. And it caps. No, it doesn't cap. Okay, never mind. It was just, you know, normally it's just hard to charge up. But if you hit a minion wave, it'll charge a lot faster. But as soon as the you can use the ability again, you can. Oh, everything got reset. It great, not uh, appropriate, I guess. But you can charge this with the minion wave pretty fast. As you can see, I'll use it here and shoot. There you go. It's already full. A fun fact there for you. It's basically the damage you do that charges just charges it. So here's the small here's the combo. When you once you use your ult, you'll take advantage of the knockup and the slow that uh, it's applied with a three. And you'll throw the two where he's gonna land. As so. So throw it here. Wait. So throw it here and knock him into it. And that time will give him enough time to do all that damage. Oh, let me see if I can instantly charge. Or how, how much it charges the do? Make sure I hit every minion. It's a good amount. But unless you, you have a crazy amount of attack speed, which I'm going to go ahead and do that now. So let's do crazy amount of attack speed. I mean, which it's a capped, so there's only so much you can charge, really. There you go. It's charged. Very well. So, let's try the combo one more time. Alright. Knock him in it. And he'll be attacked by that. That's pretty much it. Pretty quick. You have to be quick about it, of course. Position yourself next to him so it does the damage. He took most of the sun's uh, attack once I knocked him up. Wait, why is it not charging? Interesting. Okay, so another interesting theory I just found out. Okay, look. 
if you see the cooldown on the bottom, it's shining, right? Once it goes away on the four second thing, you shoot, you have it right away. Boom, right? But if I use it, charge it up, and wait for, let's say, I have six, five, four, three, two, and use it right away. This, the cooldown kind of starts from the beginning. Let's test, let's test that without the full cooldown real quick. So that's a fun fact. Let's see. So if I don't load anything, that should be a 9 second cooldown. That's 9 seconds. I should have it right away. But if I, you know, keep using it, wait for the very end of the timer where I can use the sun attack. I'll have to start the cooldown. Okay, now. It's a bit weird. Duration of the buff is 4 seconds. Interesting. Let me use it right away, see what happens. 8 seconds. So that must have been me. Or they redu uh, reduce cooldown glitch. Either way. If I try to do the combo without the slow time, it will be a bit more difficult. You still will apply it. Let's say you go this way. I knock him up in it. And of course, a normal human being wouldn't walk through it. But that's about it, really. Besides that, oh, I also forgot. I bought Mystical Mail to show to to see what could enhance your attack speed, enhance your movements, enhance. But like none of your stats are actually enhanced in a way. It's just time itself. So I bought Mystical Mail, seeing you know one tick, one tick, one tick, one tick, right? But if I use the ult instead of one tick, it's a bit faster, as you could see there. One, one, and it goes away. Wait, can you really see the difference? There's too many numbers popping out differently. And my cooldowns are... God dang it. <laughs> I'll be right back. Let me try this again with only one Odin. So we don't get confused. He said item stacking. It's a green one. There you go. Okay, so let's see. One Odin bot. One. Two. Three. Alright. One. Two. Three. Yeah, it's definitely a bit faster. Like 40% faster. So that's pretty good. Also, your CC goes a bit slower. Uh, I'm going to show you right here with this Emir. There's two Emirs, actually. There's two Emirs in there. Oh, there's only one? All right. Uh, I don't have my ult. Be right back. I glitched it, so it's someone two Emirs. But I guess it didn't now. So, let him again. Oh, there's two now. Okay. So, I'm going to let him... Oh. Right, I didn't do the thing. Uh, all right, Emir is definitely charging his ult slower as well, so that's interesting. Knock up up in it. That should be good. As you could. Very good. So let's reset the cooldown again and let myself be frozen. See how it works. So obviously he's gonna use his. Uh... Ah, dang it. Does, do you have ult? Yeah, he do, do. Okay, he has ult right away. Here's the heal. One, two, three, four, five, six, six stacks. So six heals. A base healing of six multiplied by 30. Uh, 118 only? Oh, really? That sucks. Anyways, but let's do it right this time. God! <laughs> I don't want to talk about it. I don't want to talk about it. I do have to kill him though. Anyways, I promise I'll do it fastest. I'll, I'll do it right this time. Alright, what's up? Alright, freeze me. It's a bit faster. Are you gonna charge your ult? Can you charge your ult, please, so I can. No. Alright, this time I'll use it once he uses his ult. See how fast it is. Pretty sure the backflip should. Everything the enemy does will be slower, so. Let me wait for him to use his ult. Alright, let's slow him down. It definitely feels slower, but it's not that big of a difference. But it's definitely there. Let's try with something a bit more, let's say, obvious. Uh, like, maybe Thor's abilities. 
Oh, look, the ticks are a bit slower too. Well, the knock is the most important thing. For sure. That's all she wrote from there. The cooldown starts ticking on the two, so that's why once you see it, well, you may have it. We have it. Two's cooldowns nine with full cooldown, of course. Not the worst. He's a great long range mage in this scenario, which makes him pretty good uh, fighting around or uh, waiting around, like say, let's say defending towers and fighting for objectives. If you stay in range and a Fenrir doesn't go on you and <laughs> there's no way you can peel him off other than put all your damage on top of him and blowing him up. But besides that, doesn't have any mobility, but definitely does a lot of damage. Well, that's that's all around for, for now. <laughs> Unless we find any breaking bugs or anything like that, which honestly with this new mechanic, I'm sure there will be. So... We'll see, we'll see how, how he betrays itself. But thank you so much for watching, guys. If you have any other interesting, you know, theories that you might want to, that you might know, let me know in the comments below and have a good one.